guys welcome to my channel if you don't know my name is Nikki and thank you so much for clicking on this video today's video is going to be a part of my how to for beginners series today's video is going to be how to do eyebrows I am going to compare the Anastasia brow Wiz to the NYX micro brow pencil so you guys can see for yourself which one is better and if it's worth the money to go high-end but yeah if you need help with your brows then this video is for you so go ahead and just Keep on watching. Okay, so starting off, I'm gonna take my NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I am gonna do one brow with this pencil so you guys can see how it, how it works. So I always like to groom my brows upwards just to set them in place. Then I take the pencil side and I start filling from here towards the center of my brow. And I'm just doing light strokes. Right here towards the back, I am doing medium pressure. Wherever I mess up, I just wipe with a finger. This is why I do my eyebrows first before any of my makeup. And then at the top, I just draw my arch how I want my eyebrows to be. I don't have hair back here, so I just fill it in with the pencil. A little bit too arched. Then towards the front, I'm just gonna draw really light strokes in the front. And then use my spoolie to sort of blend that out. Then down here, where I see that it is not a precise line, I want to draw really light hair strokes at the bottom and then at the top right here I do feel like it's a little bit empty I'm gonna just fill in little by little very light pressure like that now in the front there's a bald spot right here don't know if you guys can see it but I'm just gonna take my pencil and kind of put very little pressure just to kind of give the effect that there's some coverage right there. And that's all I do with the pencil. Super easy, super simple. Just make sure that your brows are tamed the way that you want them. I pluck my brows myself, so it's a lot easier when your eyebrows are plucked. I find that when my eyebrows are super bushy, it's so hard for me to get a, like, a good brow. Even right now, I haven't plucked in a while, but I just took some tweezers and kind of got like the most hairiest parts, I guess you could say. That sounds really weird, but like the hairiest parts, pluck them out and done with it. Next, I do suggest getting a brow gel. I don't suggest getting a super expensive one because you just don't need it. I use the NYX Control Freak Brow Setter and you just take the spoolie and brush your hairs up towards the front and then towards the back kind of angle it backwards and then here I still angle it back but like this I don't angle it down if that makes sense I kind of brush it back I don't brush them straight up just at an angle and then here I brush them straight up and then go back then I take my Born This Way concealer, or honestly any concealer works, and I put that on a flat elf brush. Any flat concealer brush will work. And I just take a little bit, if y'all can see that, I just take a very little bit, even this is too much, and I'm just going to carve out under the brow. So I start by putting a dab right here, and then I spread it out. And I just go straight under the brow like that and then down this way and that's it with the excess you can drag it down like this and then just drag it all the way down the lid Blend it out with the beauty blender or a Morphe sponge, any type of beauty sponge, 
Just blend it out, set it with translucent powder, and then you've set your eye, it's ready for shadow, and you're good to go. I'm just gonna leave it like this because on the other eye, I'm gonna show you a different pencil. So for this video, I wanted to compare a drugstore brand against a high-end brand so you guys can see that you don't need to go expensive, especially for brows. I don't think that you should be shopping in high-end unless like you got the money like that, which I, I don't even think it's necessary, honestly. I used to only get high-end brow products and such a waste of money. But anyways, I have the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Can y'all see? Okay. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz right here. This is in the shade Ebony. And it's the same exact thing as the next one. It has the spoolie at the end. So let me move my hair. So with the same technique, I'm just going to brush my brow hairs up. Then I'm going to take the pencil side and do the same exact thing. So I literally just did the same exact technique that I did the first time. The only difference with these products is the color. As you can see, this side is a warm tone and this side is a cool tone. But both brands have different colors, so whatever is your preference. Then I'm going to take the same brow gel because there's no way in hell I'm buying a high-end brow gel. Sorry. I'm going to take the same brow gel. and comb out the hairs. Next, same technique, I'm taking my concealer. And you can see for yourself, the only difference is the color. Warm tone, cool tone. That is it. But both brands have different colors, so you can get whichever color is good for you. So the color don't even matter. The products are the same. They look the same. They have the same. They have, it's just the same thing, okay? It's the same thing. The next one is half the price. I personally, this is how I know that the high-end products are not worth it because I will use whichever brow pencil is in front of me. Like, if I only have, whoa. If the next one is in front of me, I'll use it. If the ABH one is in front of me, I'll use it. And I never, ever notice the difference. I don't notice that one comes off quicker. They're just both the same to me. Literally, they both last the same amount of time. I know I look so ugly right now. In my personal opinion, a high-end brow product, you don't need it, a waste of money. Get a drugstore. I mean, I can vouch for the next one. I have never tried another drugstore brow product, but I can say that the NYX, what is this called? Yeah, the NYX micro brow pencil is literally the same thing as the ABH brow was. But this is how I apply, uh, so this is how I apply my brows every single day. I do it before all of my makeup, before my eyeshadow, just before everything. Like this is the easiest way to apply 
brow pencil I think a brow pencil is so much easier than a pomade so if you're a beginner definitely opt for a pencil now um, I'm gonna take off this brow put the next one on and finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be back okay guys so that is it for this video I know it was pretty quick it was just on the brows which is to me one of the easiest things a lot of people say they take like 30 minutes to do their brows I don't know what the hell they be doing but I think filling in your brows is pretty easy. All you have to do is make sure you're not going heavy handed and you want to go super light. Not super light, but you want to have a light pressure when filling in the front and then a medium pressure when filling in the rest. You also want to have a brow gel just because it'll set your brows in place. And what else? I think that's it. If you want to conceal them, you can conceal them. You don't have to. Right now, I have on the NYX Micro Brow Pencil on both eyebrows. Like I said, I took off the other one, put on the NYX one because that's just what I prefer. I don't think I'll ever spend money again on an expensive brow pencil because I don't think you guys need to go out and get a high-end brow product. Also, I just want to put out there that I am filming four videos today and in one other video, I am looking the exact same way. I did a Get Ready With Me. And um, so if you see me dress the same, mind your business, okay? I didn't feel like changing, so it is what it is. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!